Thank you very much, uh, <coughs> Mr. Chairman, uh, and I want to thank you, gentlemen, for testifying. Uh, Mr. Nodell, let me let me uh, is it Nodell? Yes, it is Nodell. Let me let me ask you a few questions because you you uh, in answering some of the chairman's questions, you left me uh, uh, shocked, and I want to make sure I heard you right. Are you saying with regard to this case, that is the outing of Valerie Plain Wilson, there is no report? Not in my office, there is not. And are you also saying that uh, there was no investigation? Not by my office. Not by your office. And so you would, I could conclude then that there were no sanctions, is that correct? There were no, no, no sanctions within your office. I mean, come, is it one of your jobs, is part of your job, to recommend sanctions where you find that there has been a breach? Correct. But there was already an outside investigation that was taking place, criminal investigation. So, so, so that's you. That's why we took no action. Now, one of your main objectives for being in, the, being in the White House to make sure that you make sure that these kinds of things don't happen, is that right? Correct. And I would assume that if anyone were to take the job that you took, that one of their, uh, and considering what happened before you got there, that this would be something that would be on the minds of everybody because, again, this is, this is like uh, bells ringing, alarms going off. This is the kind of thing that you don't want to do because this could end up in your lap. Is that right? It's, uh, you know, in this particular case, you're absolutely right. The, this started long before my tenure in this position. Uh, by the time I took the position, the criminal investigation was already underway. But did you look into it at all? You didn't look into it at all? I mean, no. just so that you could make sure you did your job right and didn't allow this to happen again? We didn't want to have collateral investigations going on at the same time, sir. So, so when, if there is an, a criminal investigation and you have got to, and you're trying to make sure it doesn't happen again, so you don't even look into it at all. In other words, you as the, the guy, you're the guy who is responsible for guarding all of this and make sure that everything goes right. So it sounds to me like we had a breach on top of a breach. We had one situation where uh, Ms. Valerie Plain Wilson's identity and covert status was disclosed, and then within the very office, within the White House, uh, there's no report, there's no investigation, and there are no sanctions. Sir, again, the, any reporting would have taken place par, prior to my arriving into the office. Now, the criminal cases... Well, the gentleman yield to me. Just, of course. Because I, I just want to pin this point down. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Um, the, do you know whether there was an investigation at the White House after the leaks came out? I don't have any knowledge of an investigation within my office. Ever? I do not. Because the president said he was investigating this matter, was going to get to the bottom of it. You don't, you're not familiar that any, you're not aware that any investigation took place? Not within my office, sir. And if there was an investigation, what were you referring to? Mr. Fitzgerald's investigation? Yes, the outside investigation. Okay, that didn't take, that didn't start till months and months later, and that had the purpose of narrowly looking to see whether there was a criminal law violated. But there was an obligation for the White House to investigate whether classified information was being leaked inappropriately, wasn't there? If that was the case, yes. Okay, thank you. Could, could I just ask uh, you for one a very quick question? I'll give you a chance. Would, would the initiative of a criminal investigation relieve those who made these disclosures of the obligation to report to you by forcing them to dis disclose could violate their Fifth Amendment rights? Actually, in regards to security violations, we encourage self-reporting and that they, we, we would encourage them to contact our office. Reclaiming my time, if Mr. If Mr. Rove, for example, the number one advisor to the President of the United States, um, received this information or had anything to do with the disclosing of a covert agent's identity, uh, and let's. And now we have a situation where it appears that the criminal trial is over. Do would your agency have anything? I mean, your office have anything to do now, or do you just close the books and say it's over? 
I've got no indication from uh, the Department of Justice uh, or any other agency. Would he, would Mr. Rove have had a duty to report any kind of breach? Yes. Even today? At the time of the occurrence. I'm sorry? At the time of the occurrence, when, when, when the violation took place. All right, thank you. Uh, thank you. Before I recognize the, the next witness, I, I just uh, want to clarify this point. The, the, the investigation by Mr. Mr. Fitzgerald didn't take place for months and months and months after it was well known that there had been a leak of the identity of a, uh, a, a um, covert CIA agent. Now, as I understand it, there was an obligation for the White House to conduct an immediate investigation to find out um, uh, whether they needed to suspend security clearances of somebody who had leaked this information to uh, uh, maybe take disciplinary action against an individual uh, who um, might have been involved, and thirdly, to find out who divulged it. Uh, and the White House had that obligation because this was a matter of important, highest order national security. Am I stating things correctly, Mr. Leonard? Uh, Mr. Chairman, as you, as you point out, whenever there is uh, suspected unauthorized disclosure or compromise, uh, there is an affirmative responsibility to do an inquiry, at the very least to determine, to implement corrective action so that uh, uh, subsequent and additional and similar violations do not continue to occur, and also to be able to ensure that any potential damage to national security um, is assessed. And yeah. part of the assessment of corrective action is also the assessment of the need for sanctions. Uh, right after the uh, Novak column appeared, there was an outrage that this was uh, uh, disclosing a covert agent. And not only that, the CIA was so angered by it that they wrote a letter to the Justice Department demanding an investigation. And in light of this, which took place immediately after the information of the leak was disclosed, the White House still has not initiated an investigation. Am I correct in that statement, Mr. Nadeau? That's correct. My Thank office you. has not. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Watson?